Hi, I'm Anthony Davis, and I am an assistant professor in the College of Natural Resources at the University of Idaho. I've been in this position for four years, and I teach in our Department of Forest Ecology and Biogeosciences, and I also operate the Center for Forest Nursery and Seedling Research and the Pitkin Forest Nursery. Our forest resources are the closest thing that we really have to a sustainable resource. So when we start a crop of seedlings and are able to grow them, that becomes the key part of our sustainable forests. That sustainability meaning that we can harvest from the forest and put back and make sure that in the future there's going to be another crop of trees coming off of that land rather than depleting resources that we simply don't have the ability to renew. Here at the University of Idaho Pitkin Forest Nursery we grow about 70 different species of plants every year. We grow almost all of those from seed, just a few of them from cuttings. And so our seed comes from a wide range of sources. We try to use local seeds that have been uh, adapted to the sites that we're working on. These seeds come from small private businesses, people who go out and collect seed for a living, as well as larger commercial suppliers. For some of our species, we actually go and collect on the University of Idaho Experimental Forest and work with a team of students and professionals to process that seed, store that seed, and then we sow that seed. What we have here is a styrofoam container. This is a Styroblock 315B. That means it's a three centimeter across by 15 centimeter deep container. We've filled this with a growing media that's made of sphagnum peat moss, vermiculite, and composted Douglas fir bark. That serves as the base upon which we grow all of our seedlings. So after just one year in the greenhouse, just one growing season, we have a seedling that's ready to go. And these seedlings get planted all over Idaho and throughout the region. A lot of them go for reforestation and restoration of our degraded sites. Some of our species are particularly useful for creekside revegetation as well as this blue spruce, which is part of the Idaho Forest Products Commission's Arbor Day program. 